We are at secondary school with a play entitled Woyengi. Woyengi, the great mother, is seated on a raised platform surrounded by sweat bearers. Before her crouches, a figure completely muffled in a brown cloth, symbolizing a lamp of clay about to be molded in human form by the creator goddess. To Woyengi's right above, a dozen figures clad in white togas, the annually created human beings who are waiting to choose their sex, destiny, and death from Woyengi before going to the world. Oyengi, grandmother of the earth. Oyengi, grandmother of the earth. Let me be a mother. Let me be beautiful. Let me bear children and until my wounds get dry. So, be it. Alive and live your life. Oyengi, mother of the world. You who command the sun and the moon. You who get the poison to the puff adder and healing to the ginger lily. Let me have power. Let me be a woman and my womb dries up. Let me have power to kill and to dry and to, to kill and to heal. Let me die when my heart bursts with power. Bot is your wish and head of your desire. Arise and take your life. Yet so be it. You shall not follow your fellow, your fellow creatures. Your wish shall be fulfilled. Woyengi, the mother of the world, the world dries in your heart as you are made it. When you are alone, you may thousands of creatures, open their mouth and let them speak. Woyengi, the mother of the world, Woyengi, you are right like his son. Now, we move on to the second scene, scene two. The homes of like Pei and Ogboimba. They are seen in their respective homes, simultaneously. Like Pei is seen playing with her children while Ogboiba is attending to Ogboiba, help me! Oh, 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 this is the smallest help child. Me, help me. Who has that? Black class, who has that? Black class, who has that? Black class, who has that? You are okay now. I have hope that you are okay now. We can't die together. Why though we don't come together? The tree which grows on the farm doesn't kill people. You are okay now. You can go. Thank you. Like Pei leaves the room, the children gather around Ogboimba. They urge her to sing and pray with her. Ogboimba is still a bit listless and reluctant. Finally, gives in. Welcome, Auntie. Welcome, my sister. Welcome, Ogboimba. How the children love you. How they are crying to you more than to their own mother. Let me get you some food. No, like Pei, please don't bother. I'm all right. No, no, you can't leave my house without eating, and I have bush meat as well. All right. And you can sing for her. Like Fe, a child is a layer bed. A child is a precious scholar. You can't buy one child on the market. Even if you have got all the money in this world, I cannot bear it. I cannot bear it any longer. See you surrounded by eight children. While me, I don't even want child. I shall must go to Woyeng and recreate my fate. Are you mad? Are you okay? What can you do? Is it super down or okay? Is it the fate you have chosen? And you don't you know it's not reversible? No! Like say, don't restrain me. I've consumed with yes. I have power. I can start making your children have fever in their breast. I can start making your children have ulcers in their stomach. Even if I can start killing your children one by one, I must go to a and recreate my fate. Please, my friend, don't go. Don't leave us. I need. I still need you. Your counsel. All right. Here there's a charm. Keep this charm. It will protect you and your children. Please, don't go. Please, please, don't, don't, go. Please, 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 don't go. In the forest, Ogboimba enters from rift, followed by the two spirit powers. She stops for a moment and looks around. Isembi, king of the forest, enters from the right, dressed like a hunter but more richly adorned. He is followed by two better creatures who likewise symbolize his spiritual powers. Danger! No paper! No human threat can cross my ranks. 
No human question can be able to drop my sacred bridge. No, he said I'm up for him. A person who doesn't listen to no one's command. I'm also a semi. I have the power. This one is mine. I can push him. Boom, boom. in heaven, weighing sits on the throne as in sin one. Sword bearers and creatures stand by her side as before. My creatures approach. The world is waiting for you. Come now and choose your fate. But when choosing, choose wise. No, for the way, I've achieved the impossible I've achieved. As I've done the impossible. Come, let us match our powers. How dare you challenge me? I who created the world with my hands. Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? Oh, I can see that you're hiding behind all that pregnant woman. You suffer for the rest of your life. And I'll never change my words, sir. And I'll never give you a second chance. Oyengi. Mother of the world, the world lies in your hand as it was on the day you made it in your own realness. You command the sun and the moon. You made thousands of creatures from your single form. You create the child in the womb, Woyengi, mother of the world. My name is Amare Han, coming from Hodges Secondary School. In this play, I was the narrator. My name is Esther Chisi from South Chatsaf District, in this play, I was like Faith. My name is Firin Yang from Hoya Day Secondary School. In this play, I was like Boy. I'm Grace Steven from Hoya Day Secondary School. In this play, I was Isembi, also I was act like a sword bearer. My name is Kasana Berry. In this play, I was Oyengi, the mother of the world. Thank you. Thank you.